we are we are live so we are picking up with penelope greengrass of hufflepuff we've just been sorted we've had a little look oh i am in the fat fryer no i am <laughs> the fat fryer is yeah don't know how to say that without sounding weird okay so met everyone here so now we go outside it's a very cute common room it's very cute very hobbit and right out we go so give me a loading screen wow oh i wanted to see the I entrance you're ready for your first day at hogwarts I've been yeah this why not a long time can't believe i'm here well you are here make the most of it you only have one first day at hogwarts now in light of your unique situation fair enough joining us as a fifth year, one first day yet we've managed to join them fifth year so i wouldn't Put anything past us. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWL God. at the end of the year. No, OWLs. no leeway or rest or anything, owls. is there? Don't even know what owls are and we have to complete them. They will determine what type oh, of I love this music. After much Do -do. discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. <gasps> Magic you book. Are. <laughs> I'm good, thank you. How are you? Thank you for joining the stream. Oh, we have. What is it? Huh. It is a wizard's field. <laughs> All of that. What is it? Right. Follow Professor Weasley. Where was the entrance here? Oh, look at it. That's really cute. And if this I walk way. away, it goes. <gasps> look at it. Oh, she just walked through the wall. Okay. Appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. <laughs> All right, Weasley. Blowing up marathon runner, are you or sprinter? Speaking of that, is everyone watching the Olympics? I'm actually quite enjoying it this year. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Whoop. What's this one? Health Elf? How's our recipe book? <gasps> oh, that's nice. Amazing. Open field guide. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. And amazing. Amazing. And then I've got a, a glasses I can unlock. What now? Well... I've already... She's stuck. <laughs> What's she doing? Oh, no. Can I move her out the way? You've been practicing. Yes, I have, and you're stuck. What do I do? Well, let me just run away. I think this is all I can do. Because she's stuck. Revelio. Well, yes, because she's blumming stuck. What am I meant to do? I can't move her out the way. What is going on? <laughs> Professor Weasley. Oh, guys, I actually know what I'm meant to do here. Right, let me go out of the quest area and see if that actually helps. Ooh. Uh, yeah, well, let's do it and let it go. I just tried to hit him with a spell and that didn't work. So I'm just gonna run away. Now let's see if that helps. It might reset it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I need it to do that because, blooming, she got stuck. If, if she keeps getting stuck, this is gonna be really bad. So let's see. What? Oh, here we go. Keep Amazing. She's not stuck like anymore. Life. Okay, so what have we got? We have one of the puzzle doors. We've got a flu flame. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show there you we how go. to use flu flames to get Finally. Your They'll be very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> Open it up and find Central Hall. Here we go. Central Hall. Hall, which 
which is oh well that's not central hall where's central hall oh here central hall so let me travel there even though i didn't have a flu flame for it yet interesting she did need a reset she did she, she needed a rest Quite the time saver. i think for These sure stairs lead directly to central hall here I go. You can hurry up, please, love. You can get almost anywhere Finally running. Thank you. Oh, no, it's just that you... Oh, I will get the Quidditch here. game. It's not out yet, though, is it? I got a bit scared because when I um, opened this, it said, like, oh, um, let me check that, actually. Yeah, 3rd of September, it's fine. We got, we got a month. But, yes, I will be. I'll be getting it and streaming it for sure. Uh, let's learn about our classes, shall we? you might expect? Spells, charms, jinxes. But yes, I will definitely be playing it. I'm very excited. Uh, Pop-Up actually came when I started the game today, saying like that there's like a pack. Um, like a pack you can get if you've got Hogwarts Legacy. They're doing like a partnership, basically. Um, so you get, I think it should get some like costumes and stuff. Defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, yeah, we'd probably be an aura. That would be nice if they added the story and you could like pick your newts or something like that. That would be good. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find <laughs> Shops all and of the pubs. school supplies you Promoting drinking, are we, you Professor also, Weasley? You but a bit, but it's about to be alcoholic. Thank I can't you. remember that. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. Additional assignments? Judging by your use yeah, it would be good if that. I don't know what I, I think they Fitz probably didn't want to take away from the rest of it. I think they might have removed Quidditch so that I think the mechanism would have been maybe a little bit complicated. So I think they took it out to keep, make sure the game was really good and just focus on other elements. Potentially, sorry, I'm talking to Professor Weasley, but yeah. oh wait, what? My suspicion there's more story. Oh. Oh, this is all about that. <gasps> I mean, if she's Hufflepuff, she'd be honest. But she's also loyal. So she could be being loyal to Fig. But if she doesn't tell Weezy the truth, she's being dishonest. I'm going to say sorry, the loyal one, I think. I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Yeah, because hmm. I think the other one, if I tell her what happened. Almost precisely what Professor hmm. Fig said. There we go. Speak of the devil. Professor hmm. Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation um, basics of spellcasting. What was I saying? Oh, I've completely forgotten what I was saying before. There, Professor. Uh, yes. They've Potentially, some people... No, I've not done the... Other. I'm literally right at the start of this run through. I started this well, run through the other day. The it's my second time playing. All I've got up to is up to being sorted. That's it. So I haven't done it. I don't know how early the Azkaban quest is, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, yeah, I didn't know if part of the reason they didn't include Quidditch was because they knew that um, that other game, the new game, was coming. But I'm not sure, because it's a separate gaming company, so... Or producers, so I don't think they'd have changed their plans for them. But it could have been a assuming They might have thought, well, there's going to be a dedicated Quidditch game. So to save us from being compared to them, let's just avoid it. But I wouldn't be surprised if in a future DLC... I mean, part of me is doubting if they're ever going to do DLCs for Hogwarts Legacy. I'm going to be honest. When it first came out, I was sure there would be DLCs and stuff. But I'm not going to lie. I'm starting to doubt if there's going to be DLCs. I'm worried they're going to basically ab abandon the game now it's been made and just do updates, but not DLCs. Um... Maybe they'll do one DLC, but like many years later. There's so many field guides here I want to catch. If they do do a DLC, that will probably have more Quidditch involved. Because, yeah, probably. If, because they'll assume people will have finished the time trials. I really hope they don't do a Hogwarts Legacy 2, at least not yet. Like, I don't really... I did try to evade. I, I don't really I feel like this is only this has only That's been out it. like two years I'm and it's really a huge game and it's a good game. I don't get why yes, they'd well, almost want to abandon it just to make a whole new one when they already have a really good solid game. I get eventually there would be a second one, 
but why not make some better add to this get more out of this one and then do a new one like sims they don't do sims and then straight away do the next sims 4 sims 5 whatever they do loads of expansion packs they add to it they make it even better they have it for like years and years and years and then they do a second one like it makes sense from a business perspective as well i think instead of one game each time you add it you get all the add-ons everything like i think that makes sense but yeah, so I have heard a lot of rumours about them doing Hogwarts Legacy 2, and I want that eventually, but not yet. I'd rather them make this even better and add more to it. Otherwise, it's just really hard to get, like, committed to it. And also, you can almost feel like, what's the point in, like, all of this if they're then just going to disregard it and make a new one? Especially because it's not just story. Like, for example, The Last of Us. You finish it, and then there's Last of Us 2, there's Last of Us three coming out all of that which makes sense because it's entirely story driven you're not really building you don't build a house you don't decorate your character you don't get to dress your character you don't get to do any of that element it's not open world this is much more it is very story driven there is a bit of like a point where it finishes you can't just sort of keep going like with something like the sims or something like that but you create your character you have the um you get to you know, upgrade your clothes, you have the pets and the vivariums, you have the room of requirement you can decorate. There, there is a little bit more of that personal element that you can do. Um, and I feel like if they then just go, no, we're now bringing out a second one. It's like, well, what's the point in doing all that personalization of my character and giving them all these traits and all that sort of thing if they're then just going to disregard it and make a new one and start all over again? Do you know what I mean? So... Thank you. Hogwarts Legacy 2, eventually, like would be great, ahead, but not right now. I think they need to focus on making surprise, this one even better. And, a good friend. and also, I don't really I'm know, sure like, how far in the future they could go, like, after this and still be before Harry Potter, Potter enough where you don't have too much overlap. They could do some ancestors like they have in this one. They've got Phineas Black, who we've heard of in the books and stuff, and Professor Weasley and stuff like that. But if they start, obviously, they can't go too far further in time without getting to Harry Potter, the characters we know. But then, if they don't go far enough away from this one, what's the point in doing a whole new game? Like, why do a whole new game just to be a couple of years after this? Why not do a DLC or expansion or something like that? Right, I have completely lost my what I'm doing because I've just been chatting. <laughs> it's definitely more chatty soon today. Um, right, let's get these classes sorted. Do -do. It's always a lot of like cutscenes and story and chat at the start. Oh, three P five. What are we doing? Is that a Weasley? Oh, it's Sallow. Oh, that is make, doing things. Oh, Professor Haggard. To blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <sighs> I am tired. From the great poacher raid of the translator, that was me saying, no doubt you've heard I am tired. <laughs> now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales she and oh, lived to boast... Wales! Of I'm from Wales. Knowledge. Knowledge? Knowledge! To the wise, age matters. I'm very turning. Is she a is she a Ravenclaw then? I think she's a. I think she's a um, a Ravenclaw. She's wearing a little blue. She might even be the Ravenclaw head of house. I can't remember now who is. Whoop. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. I don't know why they have two spells in this. Why it's Levioso, and then later you learn when guarding Levioso. I don't really get it. To be honest, in the but heat of battle. Now, we move. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Right, here we go. Bing! Levio sound. Ooh. That's a pretty feather. Well, it's a quill, isn't it? No, I don't remember this cutscene at all. Oh, th that's new. It didn't have a cape on before. 
I'm sure that didn't have a cape on before. Why has it got a cape on now? Interesting. Okay. Why is it just us practicing? Basic cast. Well, no, it's got a bloody so shield. Deflected your cast. Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, it's capers. Oh, no, it just was. To... Oh, there we go. Very good. Thank but you, Mrs. Cap. is by Jewelry. Oh, we'll start with you. Oh, I quite like the Do yellow. Take your marks. It's a bit Sorry bright, a but now <laughs> I want a fair jewel. Oh, Levioso, oh it's like the protein. Lockhart one. I always thought that scene took place in the Great Hall when with Lockhart and Snape. Then I realised it didn't. I think this actually is what made me realise that it's not in the Great Hall. It's in um it's in the Defence of the Dark Arts classroom. Woo! That was good. Woo! Oh, he fell off! I got him off! Oh, that's funny. I didn't even beat him, but I got him off, so that ended it. That's so funny. That was funny. His bar was still, like, half full, but he was like, nope, that's it. Ba, ba, ba. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Point to, to Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Thank, Thank you. you, Professor Hickett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. It's the same if thing. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. Thank you. I demand excellence from my students. Not they are then. capable of achieving it, and they ba, ba. must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing. But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, hmm. goblins, goblins, is a different kettle Ooh. of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. Different kettle of so, I love the phrases in this. Whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, Her that's complete dismissed. amazing. I've only completed Ravenclaw. I got halfway through that Gryffindor. But I'm I'm set on completing this one. Because I want to do a lot with the um, like the plants and the potions and stuff. Like oh maybe the reason it looked salad, a bit different. It's because I'm on hard difficulty. <laughs> Then again, Sorry, your limb. this wasn't your first duel. I wonder if hard difficulty is changing some things. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Ooh, that was a very Hufflepuff Fair of us. Enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for ah, certain exclusive... We're always a perfect... It seems no matter what house you're in, you're always a perfect fit. No matter what house you're in, what you say. <laughs> This is the one thing I do wish that the things you did impacted, like, the outcome. I do wish that that would be really cool. That would make it even better. It's a brilliant game, but it would be even better. And I do think they they made it out as if it would be like that. Because it was like, choose to be a bad wizard or a good wizard, sort of. It made it sound like there was a little bit more element. There is the element of choice in this. Like, you can choose what spells you want to use if you want to learn the Unspeakable Curses. I think that was the key bit they were getting at. The, you can choose if you want the Unspeakable Curses. You don't have to. So that was the choose to be a bad wizard or not. But I think... And if I think they, you know, I think it was a little bit, you know, vague on purpose because I think they wanted people to think that you can pick to, like, what you do changes the outcome, which it doesn't. Like, saying you can choose to be a bad wizard makes it sound like, oh my god, you can choose to go around and hurt, like, do certain things and it will, like, it will affect the game, but it doesn't. So, that was actually one that was quite disappointing. If they hadn't have said anything about that, I wouldn't have gone into it expecting it, or... If I had, I wouldn't be as disappointed because I'd be like, oh, fair enough, that wasn't, you know, that wasn't in the plan. But it did sort of set it up for that and it, it wasn't. And, um, yeah, I do think it would have been really good if, like, things you could have done. 
The game I love for that, um, it's a game, I believe it's called, I believe it's called Becoming Human, or is that a TV show that's called that and it's something similar but different? I think it's Becoming Human, um, and yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly, if there's a way you could stop, you know, there's a character at the end that dies, if you could stop him from dying, if you could stop Sebastian going, I think there might be a way you can stop him from going to prison or something, but that's about it. Um, if there were like relationship bars, so like what you do impacts, you know, relationships with students, stuff like that, um, and like relationships with teachers, all of that sort of thing. I don't know. I just think that would have been a good, a good addition if they'd have done that. Oh, oh, it's Peeves. That echoes so bloody much. It's actually quite scary. Where's the moth? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, and the other thing is, as well, related to that, that I've just forgotten, is that I've forgotten, so, yeah, uh, what was I literally just talking about, I was saying, uh, oh yeah, Becoming Human is one where there's so many different outcomes, like, honestly, so many different outcomes that you can have, based on the choices you make, it completely alters, like, what what ending you get there's one ending that like happens way sooner um things like that um and yeah but they just um they didn't do and obviously it wouldn't have to be i understand it's probably a very different game to make if you're doing that i don't know much about game making but it sounds like it would be quite a lot to do that um but like even oh there's one there it is even if it was just like a little bit of that like just that there were two outcomes or three outcomes or just little changes like things just impacted like some like some dialogues different or um like yeah like the relationship stuff something like that i do think that would be good like if you could even affect the house points i wish they'd have put in a house point system because she said points to hufflepuff but you don't see that anywhere and if there were certain tasks or mini games you could do or just, I don't know, like the Accio mini game, the, the broom trials, if there was, you could do that whenever. And that impacts the house points or something like that. But yeah, that's my little, yeah, little, little brainstorm of things that would be good. Right. I get that is a bit of a different game, potentially. Like, I don't think they could add that in later on, because I think that, I think, as I don't know, that sounds like it would require basically making a different game or altering the initial game rather than just adding something on, but I don't know. I just think it would be good. Here. What's this? Behind you. There's Hello. Here. Thank you. Hello, do, I am Nettie. Do, do. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold. <laughs> I like this professor. He's good fun. Requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, <sighs> 354. Can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> that was very much like a, a Snape moment, saying so turn to whatever page and then <laughs> said tell me the difference between, which is what Snape says as well, which is funny. Do you even so I think there's a bit of a nod a to that. Summoning charm. <gasps> Summoning! Mm. Woo! So we can get those field pages. Mm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs <laughs> and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Oh, there's so many people with the same hairstyle. 
This shows how few hairstyles there are. I think that was a bit... I don't get why they didn't do more hairstyles. Like, honestly, so many of the girls in this have that bun. Or, like, and it's just... It ruins... It's it just... just not enough variety. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember... Potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. Mm. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of Oh, fresh I like air. this. Okay. I like this bit. I like this. I messed it up on my last run through. I didn't do very well. <laughs> but I, I'm, other than that, I'm usually okay at this mini game. You'll see what it is now. Fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> They like little blueberries. <laughs> Why so are we always first? Our, start us off. our feet are in the decking. Uh, uh, oh, that's quite bad. <laughs> right. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm. Excellent control. <gasps> Too much. Too. I was doing really well, and splendid. too much, too much. No, no, not splendid. Too much, and there. Whoop! Too much again. No, I did it just about. Wow! Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But see how many points? Where are the no points? In playing without some friendly competition, Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Here we go. Right, let's try. Let's see if we can do this. So, R2 square. Look at them all just watching. I think she goes first. Yeah. I like our shoes. Boop, boop. Hmm, okay. Let's see what we can do. I might go for this one before she blocks me. Actually, no, I'll do this one before she blocks me. This one, I think, actually, because I think this is the one she may end up blocking me on. Too much? No, perfect. Ooh, was it perfect? Yeah, nice! Amazing! Lovely stuff. Oh, in fact, I may have blocked myself with this one over here. Let me try and knock hers off. Can I knock it off? Ooh. Oh, not quite. But it slowed me down at least so I could give it a bit of welly and not fall off. Oh, this is going to be tight. She got all of hers in 50. What on earth? We both got all of them in 50. A perfect score. Oh, what now? Remarkable. What do we do now? We joint. We tied. We joint. We tied. We drew, that's the word. Let us make this a bit more uh, interesting. Usually it's like, oh, don't worry, I won. But now it's actually, they just don't do anything if you draw. Interesting, okay. <laughs> There's usually an additional, like, <laughs> chat with Onai. Okay. <laughs> oh, she goes first. Enough, <laughs> enough chit-chat. Just having fun and making friends, mate. We've just joined in fifth year. We need to make some friends. Right. Oh, this is scary. I need a nervous wee. <laughs> okay, right. Get me in the way. Okay. Ah, that was really close. Oh, no. In the green one. Damn it. Okay. Not ideal. She'll probably get all 50 again. Yeah, why does it make her so good? Oh no, she didn't. Okay. Interesting. 
Right, I was meant to click then and I missed it, so I didn't want to risk it. I'm scared! In a way. Right, okay. And now. <gasps> ah, no! I just kept clicking. I just kept clicking. I literally just held on. Oh, that's so bad. I literally just held on. <gasps> I can't win now, though. She's done it. Oh, that's sh annoying. Nearly swore. Okay. Wow. No, too much. Oh, no, I did it. Okay, fine, but I haven't won. That's so annoying. Oh, I got scared and I just kept pressing R2 and square. I forgot to click off it. <laughs> oh, well. Very good, both of you. Well done. Okay, there wasn't the I won or anything like that. Usually there is. I thought there was anyway. Maybe not. Maybe that comes later. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss. Oh, this is it. There we go. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier. I promise. Transferred? That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Let's learn about Wagadu. Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. Aww. It always felt like home. That's nice. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice Aww. carved out of the mountainside. That's I nice. remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick. It'd be nice to have some spin off and some more like and then it just other wisdom schools. So I feel like that's one they could do because it wouldn't need any like overlap really with any of the characters. They probably want to do some, they don't obviously put something in that links it with a character we know or a story we know, but they could do it quite separate, which would be, you know, it'd be nice to learn more about them. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten this. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. <laughs> it seems very <laughs> dramatic. I like that. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Oh, that was nice chat. Of course. You can right. Humans, if you're so inclined. <laughs> well, Bloody Sebastian Sallow. Using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. <laughs> you know it's oh. going to work on humans. <laughs> Right, I'm actually going to stop there because I'm really tired. I know that wasn't a very long stream. It's only 35 minutes, but I'm so tired. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon.